Okay, guys, this is Grandma Judy, and I want you to meet a favorite YouTuber of mine that I've met called Jabril. And he talks about black billionaires. I'm going to come back to the beginning of it so you can see what I'm talking about, his title. Come on. There it is, Black Billionaires 20, 2013. He's on YouTube. Uh, Jabril, J-U-B-R-I-L, 58. This is a Chicago brother, and he has traveled all over the world. And I think he's only about 25 years old. See, he's not shooting people down. He's not making a thousand channels running people down. He's not attacking people's computers. He's not putting nasty things. And I'm sure all these black billionaires, they don't do things like that. <laughs> You know, they're too busy making money, trading, doing things. They're not attacking their own people. But what can you do? Evil is just evil and evil will not be blessed. So I just want you to know that this is another brother. Remember I made the video about uh, uh, get your passport? And ladies, it's so funny. Even though I got some wonderful videos uh, some of the main brothers that's talking about you called me all kind of nasty names <laughs> and asked me why was I talking about you. And then, of course, you know, they had some nasty things to say about you and me and everybody else. Uh, and instead of just getting their passport and going on to Brazil like they said they were going to do. One thing they, they don't know, though, men are very protective about their women. A woman could probably go into another country and marry a man in that country, and the men don't even care. But when these brothers who disrespect their own women think that they can go to Brazil where they chop off your heads and they shooting and everything, and you're going to pull a, a, a Brazilian woman that's worth anything, uh, you better do some homework. That's all I have to say, because I told you I've been all over the world. I have listened to the brothers. Most of those brothers in these other countries, they don't mind coming and stepping to a sister from the United States, but they do not. They hate it. And I guess that's just being a male. They hate it when another male is coming after their women. And sometimes they will uh, take action about it. You know, all these people you see here, these are people who are billionaires. Majority of them seem like they came from Nigeria. I guess Nigeria is so rich in oil and everything. Uh, I know one thing we know about Nigeria is the ones who want our bank account numbers and uh, want us to take some money in for them. But uh, this guy, I mean, just all props to you. You know, if you got something to do, listen to him, listen to good people, positive people, and not these people who are haters. These people who are haters, they hate themselves. Because if you... If if you can't love someone, and you know evil doesn't have love. Evil don't even know what love is. But if you can't love someone and give someone props, then that's it. You know, I, I've watched a lot of this brother's videos. I haven't seen him attack anybody. And he gets millions of views. There's another uh, billionaire, Mike Adenuga. He's worth $4.6 billion. So this is a good website I think that you need to really go to and check out. Personally, myself, I probably could have been a billionaire too if I wanted to, but I'm the kind of person that after I've taken care of my basic expenses, uh, I try to help other people. I'm a giver. Now, I'm not stupid. Uh, I really don't like to give to people who ask me. And there are a lot of people who say, oh, can you give me this? Can you send me this? Can you give me that? Can you do this? No, because then I think you're trying to make a fool out of me and I don't do it. It has to come from my heart or from God speaking to me for me to help people out. And I only help people with the excess that I have. There are some people who are so beautiful, they won't even pay their own rent to help people. Uh, excuse me? But I ain't that dumb. I'm going to take care of Grandma Judy. I'm going to take care of Judy, Judy, Judy first. Then from my excess, I will help you. And I was able to help more when I was working. Uh, I'm retired comfortably. And uh, now I will just be traveling, uh, meeting up with my daughter. Uh, we're going to Bali this summer. And I'm going to go to Singapore and Taiwan. 
Uh, and uh, I don't stay at four and five star hotels. No, my daughter has picked a beautiful condominium in Bali for us, but that was my daughter's choice there. And and sometimes we'll stay at, 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 at um what do you call it, hostels. I've only stayed at I think two, and my daughter did that, one in Alaska and one up in Denali. And uh, as long as we had our private room, I didn't mind doing it. I didn't want to be in the bunk bed with other people. Oh, yeah, and I did stay at a, a hostel in Washington, D.C., too, right across the street from the Capitol. But uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, it was like four beds in the room, and uh, a lot of people had a little night. You know what I'm talking about. And that was just disgusting. So I don't think I'd ever stay in a hostel again unless I can have my own private room. That's it. Here's a lady. She's a Nigerian oil tycoon. She's the richest black woman. She takes over from Oprah. So I'm not going to keep you long. I just want to tell you to go check out this beautiful brother from Chicago. Uh, and I want to tell him I'm proud of him. You're so respectful. And grandma's blessings to you because you're busy living it, baby, all over the world. And you tell, you share how you do it. You you tell us some of it's from AdSense, but some of it is from um, Think Outside the Box, a program that he sells for $48. It's probably worth $4,800. Uh, I'm going to buy his program, not that I want to be a billionaire uh, I've, I've always able, been able to travel myself, but I'm going to just buy it just to uh, share it with you guys a little bit, too. And I hope all of you buy his program. $48 is not much. Stay away from McDonald's, lose 48 pounds, and, 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 and get his um, Think Outside the Box. That's his uh, website. So that's all I want to say. Beautiful brother, you know. Beautiful brother. Talks about everything. He's just... He's just wonderful. You know, you want to say that all the black men are just shooting and killing each other. Yes, yeah, some of them are doing it. Oh, I want to tell you, did you notice on Michigan Avenue when uh, 28 uh, thugs decide they're going to go again? They ain't going to learn. These folks ain't going to let you tear down uh, North Michigan Avenue. That's their money, the people that live there. If you want to end up in the river with the sharks and the ocean with the sharks, you keep going up there, uh, wilding. You know, they don't care how many of you ki you kill in our neighborhoods, but uh, you ain't going to pay attention to grandma because hard head makes a soft behind. That's why a lot of you are sleeping in the grave now, and a lot more will be in the grave for your disrespect. And uh, God doesn't like ugly, and he cares very little about pretty. You can't throw a brick and hide your hand. All these phony names you're making coming over here saying things. Person, this is the way I handle it. When I find one disrespectful word, I don't even read the rest of it. I go, black, and that's it. You got to go to the drawing board and make up another one. <laughs> I'm so glad I got more going on in my life than that. You know, at 70, I love being old. I love having the wisdom. And I really don't care what you think about how I look. Because I'm still breathing, and I love it, and I'm still helping, and I'm still a positive person. What can you say about you? If you want to know a person, look at their videos. Look at the comments they make, and that will tell you what this person's about. Don't waste your time arguing with them, because God is going to take care of them. Evil never wins. You know, evil never wins. So, this is Grandma saying, love you, love you, love you, and have a wonderful day. Even though I don't come on often making videos, I'm watching other people's videos, I'm commenting, and I'm reading, and I'm just enjoying life. Just enjoying life. And that's what I want every one of my young sisters and brothers to do. Have a good day.